The Moderna COVID vaccine is an mRNA vaccine authorized for emergency use to prevent COVID-19. In today's video, an overview on the vaccine, a little bit on how mRNA vaccines work, the side effects expected including myocarditis and pericarditis, symptoms of anaphylactic shock and of course the ingredients of the vaccine. I know that this sounds like a big list of topics to cover but I am going to keep it as simple as possible and give you just the information required to serve as a heads up if you have any of these symptoms. To give you information on this vaccine, I have referred to the fact sheet provided by Moderna themselves. I have links to this fact sheet down in the description box below which you can download. And while you are at it, do click the like button for me. The efficacy of the Moderna vaccine is over 90%, meaning it gives you more than 90% protection from severe disease for up to 6 months from the date of administration of the second dose of the vaccine. The Moderna vaccine is administered in two doses, four weeks apart, as an intramuscular injection, mostly in the deltoid region of the upper arm. It is recommended for use in individuals over the age of 18 years as of filming this video. The Moderna vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. RNA vaccines are a new type of vaccine. To explain in simple terms how it functions, the vaccine contains a mRNA strand which carries the code for the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2. The spike protein is like an appendage with which the virus attaches to our cells. When the immunological cells of our body see the mRNA strand, they ingest it and then themselves begin to code for the spike protein on their surface. This ensures that if in the future the SARS-CoV-2 does enter our body, the antibodies are already present to neutralize them immediately. I hope that this little explanation was not too complex. If you have any of the conditions mentioned here below, please inform your vaccinator. One thing to note is that if you are immunocompromised due to disease or medication, you might not produce adequate protective antibodies and may have to schedule a third dose of the vaccine. Do take advice from your healthcare provider on this. Do not take the vaccine if you have had a severe allergic reaction after the first dose of the vaccine. Also, if you have a known severe allergic reaction to any of the ingredients of this vaccine. Expected and known side effects which are transient and not to worry about are as listed below. But I would like to concentrate a little bit on the dangerous side effects. Remember, although dangerous, these side effects are rare. But you should be informed and aware before you make a decision. The first dangerous side effect is that of an allergic reaction. If you have a mild allergic reaction to the first dose, please be mindful that the reaction could be more severe for the second dose. This severe reaction is that of an anaphylactic shock. What happens in an anaphylactic shock is that you have difficulty breathing because of the swelling in your tissues. To add to this, your blood pressure drops, reducing the blood flow and therefore oxygen to your organs and the cells of your body. And if not treated immediately, can result in death. The first drug given in anaphylactic shock is that of epinephrine or adrenaline depending on which part of the world you are in, in the thigh and then follow up treatments. The first signs of anaphylactic shock include swelling of your mouth, tight feeling in your throat and difficulty breathing, hives, vomiting, dizziness, fainting rapid heartbeats. These symptoms usually occur within the first half an hour of the vaccine. The other dangerous side effects I would like to address in this video are that of myocarditis and pericarditis. Myocarditis is the inflammation of the myocardium that is a heart muscle and pericarditis is the inflammation of the pericardium this is the sheath which covers the heart. There could be many other causes of myocarditis and pericarditis as well. To name a few, viral infections including COVID, bacterial infection, heavy metal poisoning, certain medications and even overconsumption of alcohol. In a vast majority of cases, it might not even be diagnosed and spontaneously passes away. This is why it is important that after you have been sick or received the vaccine that you do not overdo any strenuous exercise as it could cause a flare-up. Diagnosis is done through an echocardiogram and blood tests. Myocarditis and pericarditis is often preceded by a fever if infection is the cause. The other symptoms of myocarditis and pericarditis include Shortness of breath, abnormal heartbeat which causes fainting in the rare cases, lightheadedness, a sharp or stabbing chest pain or pressure which may spread to your neck and shoulders, fatigue. The unique feature in pericarditis is if you lie down, the pain in the chest subsides and when you sit up or you bend forward, the pain worsens. And finally coming to the ingredients of the vaccine. It has its usual fare of lipids, salts and sugars with along of course the mRNA. Listing it out here for your convenience so that you can take a screenshot. I have covered some more vaccines on this channel. To check them out, do click here. I hope you got some value from this one and if you did, please do click the like button. I'll be seeing you in the next one. 
Signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.